Hey, everybody. Welcome back to Build. I'm your host, Brittany Jones Cooper. Today, I'm sitting down with actress Tracy Spiridakos, who plays Haley Upton on the NBC series Chicago PD. The show follows the men and women of the Chicago Police Department's elite intelligent unit that fights organized crime, drug, drug trafficking, and murder. Please help me welcome Tracy Spiridakos. <laughs> Thank you very much. The Chicago PD love is strong in this room. It is. I, I mean, feel it. they can't wait to hear more about it, but we're not going to give any spoilers, guys, okay? Yeah. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> but how does that feel to be a part of a show where people really are invested in your character and the series? It's a really cool thing. The fans are incredible. Yeah. Um, it's been a, a really wonderful experience. I joined and I was, you know, it's like you know, first day of school, you're a little nervous, and then uh, getting to know the cast and getting to know all the fans and everybody, it's just, it's been a really lovely experience. Yeah, I was gonna say, so you came in full-time the fourth season? I came in at the end of season four for, for three episodes, okay. and then I came in full-time uh, season five. So you sort of knew the lay of the land, but still coming in, you said there's like a small adjustment you have to make. Well, you're, yeah, because you're, you're the new kid, you know? And so you're like, oh, like me. <laughs> um, and uh, and so there, there's always going to be that element. And I think the first, you know, when I came in at the end of season four, I wasn't sure if I was staying or what, what was happening. So there was a little less nerves at that point. But then when I got to know everybody and I started to see how amazing everyone was. I was like, oh, I want to stay. <laughs> um, so I think going into season five, that's when I was a little bit more nervous because I was like, ugh. But it, uh, it was great. great. Yeah. And fans love Haley. For those who maybe haven't seen the show or aren't as familiar, tell us a little bit about your character. Um, Haley Upton is, was, uh, we discover her, she was in the uh, robbery homicide unit and we discover her, there's a case where she ends up interacting with intelligence and they're kind of end up working on the case and at the end of it all, um, Voight says if I wanna come on on a temporary basis to, and, and that's kind of how I started on the show. Um, and she is just this, she's a badass but she's also really vulnerable and she's very unapologetic about who she is and she has very strong like a very strong moral compass and wants to do the right thing and and you know and uh, she's a really interesting character. I love that she can she's not only can she be a badass but she can be vulnerable and she can show those sides of herself and um, and all that together. She, I think she's a very interesting character. And was this a character that was already really flushed out when you took her on or was it something that you kind of got to work with them and pull out certain pieces? Because I know that um, she like also worked in the Greek town part of her neighborhood and you're Greek. Like there's little things that seem like they're similar. Yeah. So when they created the, the character, um, I think there was a it was a possibility that I'd be staying on if all, you know, were to go well. So when when um, they created her at, at the end of season four, they knew some of my history. So my family does own a Greek restaurant. My parents are both Greek. Um, and my, uh, so the character only, her father is Greek, um, is how they created it. Um, so yes, that was intentional. Um, and they did put that in there um, uh, to be, you know, just to have a little... Um, but th and then, no, the rest of it, I'm kind of discovering it as I go. I think another interesting thing about Haley is a lot of her backstory is a mystery to me, including. <laughs> there's things, yeah, there's things that I've known, you know, uh, being meritoriously promoted. And that was something that I knew and I know how that kind of went down. But I, there's a lot of things about the character that I, I'm still discovering as well. So how soon do you get scripts? Like, do you know where she ends up at the end of this season or are you just like week by week? Yeah, week by week. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> sometimes, you know, sometimes we'll get an idea. Uh, I mean, I knew, uh, Patty and I both knew that the, uh, the Ruzik romance was coming earlier on. They had mentioned that it was gonna be uh, coming up. So we both kind of knew about that. But I mean, it happened in, in episode three. So we kind of knew at the beginning. Of, but most of the time, no, we get the scripts. Uh, usually two days before we start shooting. Wow. So we start, yeah, we get them like if we start, you know, if we start Thursday, we'll usually get them on Tuesday night. So then if you're up, you can read them Tuesday night or then on Wednesday, but then if you're working, then you don't always get to until, and then we do a table read the day before and then we go into it. So your memory is just probably a wonderful place. Yeah, you know what, surprisingly, I can memorize scripts, but then like I don't remember <laughs> <laughs> so many things that I should. <laughs> um, but I think with the scripts, it's like conversation, so you can usually kind of, I, yeah. So you mentioned uh, she has a little love story this season, which is nice. Where are we at with that and how do you, how do you think that impacts Haley? Um, well, it's going to be interesting coming up. There's some stuff, uh, we kind of dip into that a little bit, but 
I don't know how much I can <laughs> tease about it. Um, but uh, you know, I think it was I think it was interesting how the whole thing came about, and I think. What's been really fun, one of my most favorite episodes to shoot was uh, episode 11, where we, uh, Ruzik ends up taking the, the fall for um, Antonio, and we end up, she ends up kind of uncovering that she maybe is a little bit more attached than she thought she was, and I think initially it was just a, a thing that happened, and then, you know, before she knows it, she kind of cares more than, totally. than she thought, and so that ends up coming, coming out, and we see a little bit of that, and then there's uh, other things that happen. I told you guys, they never get spoilers. <laughs> you know, because I can't tease a little bit. I'm the worst. I'm like, here's everything. <laughs> uh, let's talk about the physicality of the role because you guys are running and you're shooting. What sort of um, preparation did you get beforehand to prepare for those scenes? Um, well, not a ton. <laughs> um, I mean, I think as far as like tactically, I did work with uh, Brian Luch, who's our tech advisor, and he kind of shows, teaches you how to like how to stand, how to like you know hold your weapon properly, and all that stuff. Which um, he's incredible. So there's a bit of that. But as far as like you know preparation for running and and the stunt stuff, we have stunt doubles who are incredible. Um, and then you know I think most of us try to do as much as we can because we have fun doing it. Stunt days are always really fun. Um, Marina and I shot an episode where we're chained up in this basement and she and I were covered in bruises after it. Like we were taking pictures and showing each other the like markings of our, you know, our, our wounds. Yeah. Um, That's a really memorable episode. Is there another episode that really sticks out to you either for what it was talking about or just like your experience in the episode? I mean, the episode that I shot with Patty was a, was a, a really fun one to shoot there's um I, I always really get into like the physical stuff so I always have a good time with that um but I think on an emotional level for my character the the one with uh Patty it, it, just because I think there were so many different layers that came out of it that you, you know going and talking to Voight and and showing that vulnerable side to my boss and and you know really putting herself out there like that but then still um, you know, needing to connect with him and try to figure it all out without really knowing anything. I just thought it was a really fun, interesting one to shoot. Yeah, that's what's great about this show is that you get the action and all of the kind of tough guy stuff, but all of these characters are so nuanced and so complex, and there's this whole emotional world that we get to peel back week yeah. by week. Is that what's fun for you to play? Yeah, it's interesting, and especially when you discover more things. You know, as I get to know Haley. There's things that, I mean, especially because I don't know a lot of things about her full backstory. So when a story comes up that I get to discover, I'm like, oh, I, okay, I can now, you know, that's something that you can sprinkle in and add into uh, the character going forward. But um, yeah, it's, it's really interesting getting to like, and then also uncovering different, like, I mean, even Patty and I's chemistry together and what that was like when you interact with a character in a in a way that you hadn't before and how you know with with Burgess when we interacted in in like uh being with the whole situation that happens when she finds out about Ruzik and all that just how we play off of each other and how because you don't always get to I mean there's we're a big family and it's a big ensemble but you don't always get to work with each other all the time and so when you do and you get to kind of see what how the characters are interacting with each other it almost surprises you sometimes just how you're playing because you don't know so much about her do you ever create things in your head like this is the kind of music she would listen to totally or, yeah what kind of music would Haley yeah listen? i think Haley's like kind of like a she's like a like a metal chick okay yeah I think she is, and I think she's, um, I think she, like, rides dirt bikes, and she's just, like, a total tomboy, yeah, and just, like, I, I have it that she, I mean, I maybe like, because for me, it's a little close, like, I have two older brothers, and so for me, like, I feel that she has two older brothers, I just think that, like, I don't know, there's, I, I, I think she's a lot cooler than I am in so many ways, <laughs> um, but, like, that's kind of what, how I, yeah, I think of her. I love those small details. I grew up with three older brothers, and I do think it's like a distinct kind of woman. You're like, yeah, I'm ready to fight for no reason, but I'm ready. Right, always. If I have to. Always. Always ready. Always ready. And then on set, Brian Luch, who's our tech advisor, is like the biggest prankster of all time that I can't even, like, I can't, I'll be napping, and I'll be like, 
where where is he where is he because he'll always get me and he'll come around but I feel like when you have older brothers they're always I mean my brothers used to wake me up by pulling out strand by strand of my hair true story strand by strand of my hair until I would wake up wow that's horrific I, mean, I love them <laughs> they make you tougher they make us stronger mm -hmm. but they're kind of jerks yeah 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 exactly absolutely <laughs> yeah it does look like you guys have a lot of fun on set you have the best behind the scenes I mean, your Instagram is so fun because it looks like there's this family dynamic and you're always playing with each other. Yeah. How important is that for you to have at work where you have these serious scenes, but it looks like when the camera's not rolling that you have a little fun. We have so much fun, it's crazy. Um, I think it's really important because we spend a lot of time together. I mean, we're together 14 hours a day. It's really long. Sometimes you're outside in the cold and it's, you know, and but we get to do. I mean, I feel so grateful to get to do this job and um, and to be a part of it all. That I'm like, I always walk on set, and they're like, when? Like, because I'm always like, hi guys, good morning. <laughs> it's like five. They're like, gross. <laughs> Why are you so happy? But I'm just so grateful to be a part of it. And I think, um, and when we get on set with the boys and and Marina and I, like, have, we just Marina's hilarious. Mm -hmm. She's so funny, and so we just like to make fun of everyone and and tease each other and. I have like a rule that I don't pay the boys any compliments because I think that that's funnier <laughs> than to pay them compliments. So I'll be like, Marina, you look beautiful. Then I'll glare at the boys and walk away. And they're like, what the? <laughs> so what is that like when somebody leaves? Because I saw that John Cita just, you know, he's leaving the show. Yeah. So how does that change the, the dynamic? I mean, with a long running show like this, that's bound to happen. Yeah. But it what is sucks. it? Yeah. It sucks. I don't know. Like, you know, it, it sucked when Elias left last year, too. And, you know, I didn't, uh, you know, I didn't get to work with so very much. Uh, but, I, you know, I think for everybody, it's just a big part of the family, a big part of the group. And John's such an incredible human being. I've never heard that man say anything negative ever. He's like the nicest, sweetest person. But he, he's incredibly talented and he's gonna do all of the wonderful things uh, for sure. But it's sad, yeah. You're just used to seeing each other every day and yeah, it sucks. I know the fans are sad too. You're always happy when somebody's moving on to do something else, but yeah. you're like, oh. But like, uh, yeah, exactly, yeah. That's, uh, that's all, I, that's my, yeah. my answer is, uh. Oh uh. <laughs> yeah. Um, you guys shoot in Chicago, it's called Chicago PD. Um, and Chicago's really cold, but you're Canadian. This is true. So did that help you? I think it did. Yeah. But I haven't lived in Winnipeg in a, in a while. So it kind of, uh, it, the real, you know, Winnipeg winter has gotten out of me a little bit. But, um, but it does help a little bit. But I, I think, especially because I'll be like, mom, it's so cold. She's like, oh, please. What is it there? You know, and like Winnipeg's dramatically colder. I'm like, okay, yep, right, right, right. Um, but I think, yeah, I think, I mean, I think it helped me. I also really like the snow. Um, you guys film outside so often though. We are outside, and it, I mean, and don't get me wrong, it's definitely cold, uh, but we're also really prepared for it. Like, we're really fortunate that, like, our costume department is incredible, and they they get us all the things that, you know, the hand warmers and the things, and I wear, I usually have at least two pairs of pants on under my costume pants. I ask for a bigger <laughs> pair of pants so I can stuff it all in, and then I have, like, three or four jackets on underneath. So I'm always like, just winter, I'm like ready. You still look so little on camera though, so it works. <laughs> I'm like, you're just described like 18 layers. I'm like, I'd never know. They're like know. the thin base layers yeah. that I just pile like on. the thermal. Yeah, 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 exactly. That's and then the like can warmers, sometimes my inner jacket has like, just the, like taped inside, yeah. depending on how cold it is. You're on this very successful primetime show. When you look back over the course of your career, is it just like mind boggling sometimes? Because I mean, this is success, but I'm sure you've probably had ups and downs and- For sure. What has your journey like been, or how has your journey been in entertainment? Um, yeah, it is it is crazy. Um, it's been, you know, I feel like I've I've been very fortunate in a lot of ways. And yeah, I definitely, you know, I worked uh, when I was in Vancouver, I, I worked at a bank and I had my bartending job and I served, I had three jobs. And I remember just being like, all I really want is to just act. That's like to only have the one job. And I feel so grateful that I'm in a position right now that I get to do that. Um, but yeah, I definitely, you know, had laws, all of us do. And it's like, you you work on something and, and you're like, okay, well, great. This was a launching and you're going to from there, you're gonna go on to all the other things and then it just doesn't, sometimes it just doesn't happen that way. Um, but I think what's really cool about it is you end up finding out a lot about yourself and like what your interests are outside of work because you have to, I think for sanity, 
purposes. Uh, just find something that else that you're passionate about and other things that you're interested in to be involved in so that when work is happening, great, amazing, but when it's not, still feel fulfilled and still be able to do what you need to do for your, your happiness. What was your first job? Uh, I worked at Dairy Queen Ooh. for two weeks. And then I didn't really like you it. You loved it. Um, I, it was my favorite. Uh, and then I pumped gas for like a year and a half. Okay. Yeah, I did like a, it was like a full service gas station. And I went and pumped gas and checked oil and filled like tires. And That's a very Haley thing. That's I, like kind of badass. <laughs> it was actually a really fun job. Uh, me and my, like one of my very best friends worked there together. Yeah. It was fun. How did that then parlay into acting? Um, well, from then, uh, I, uh, that job finished, and then my family owns a restaurant, so I was working in my family restaurant for a while, and then I left and moved to Vancouver as uh, I was kind of starting to work in the bank, and I was like, maybe this is what I'll do. Like, maybe I just won't do the acting thing, and I'll just work at the bank. And uh, a good girlfriend of mine, she was like, I think you need to give it a go. I think you should try and go for it. And so she was going to Vancouver. She's an actuary, actually. So she's very different <laughs> side of things. And she went and she um, convinced me to go with her. And I went. And that's where I was working at the bank and doing. I mean, I worked at the bank in, in Winnipeg as well. But transferred over and then did all the other uh, jobs as well. And then just started training out there and auditioning and figuring stuff out. And then from there, I managed to book a couple movies and a couple little things there that got me, like, I, I went over to uh, Toronto and got to work a little bit. And then I came down for my pilot, first pilot season. Um, and I ended up ma managing to land uh, Revolution, which was the one that got me, I ended up being able to come down here a little bit more. That was also in the NBC family, wasn't it? It yeah. was, yeah. So in what ways did that show maybe prepare you for this role? Or is there any correlation? Uh, I mean, I think they're both, like, role-wise, I think they're both... They're both really cool, strong women and like, you know, a ton of fun. And I think both of them have like a lot of vulnerability to them and a lot of strength, which has been a, uh, definitely a really good time uh, to, to play. But I, I don't know. I mean, I think I think just the experience of being on set, being on a production at that that level. And um, I'm just like a little like goofy kid from Winnipeg that I'm always like, eh, awkward. <laughs> so I feel like I, like I learned to be more comfortable with myself in that environment and be comfortable on set to just yeah. do what I do. And Did you have any mentors during that time? I'm always curious because it just seems like there's so many different avenues you could go down in entertainment. Um, did you ever have a, an actor who sort of like helped you or? I didn't have an actor. I had this uh, really amazing teacher in Vancouver. His name's Ted Whittle and he was, he was always just really good at teaching us the balance between our jobs and our lives and, and, and just to not take everything so seriously. I think, you know, actors, we all get, we just want it, you know, so bad and you fight and you, you do all the things, which is great. But like, there's also just life happening everywhere. And, and I feel like he taught me how to, or, you know, helped me find how to like balance that life for myself where like, I'm, I'm always grateful when I'm working. But when I'm not, I take that opportunity to do other things. And I feel that he was the one that kind of laid that foundation for me in a lot of ways. Yeah, he's like the younger you learn that, the better, yeah. honestly. Yeah, 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 for sure. Yeah, I love that. Yeah. Well, I know before we go, we do have a couple of uh, questions from the audience. The first one comes from Twitter. Tom's Fluger wants to know, if you could write a side storyline for Haley, what would it be? Uh, interesting. It is a good question. Um, I mean, I would love... I just would love to dip into her backstory a lot. Like, I would love to know, I mean, I know how she was meritoriously promoted, but I would love to, like, just really see, yeah. like, kind of really get into what that, a little bit more of that. Um, so I, I feel like, like, uh, I would love to, like, uncover more of her backstory would be what I would, what I would like to, but I don't have a specific one in mind because I'd, I don't know all of the things. <laughs> you don't know the backstory. <laughs> oh. But like some sort of flashback episode. Perhaps. Or like, yeah, or something to show. Yeah, the, or, you know, I mean, I really liked the one with uh, Titus Welliver where we dipped into a bit of that, but um, I would just yeah. like to explore that more. Okay, who do we have first in the audience? Hi, Tracy. Hi. So you mentioned Revolution, and I was a big fan of the show. Thank you. And while I was watching it, I always thought that Charlie was Luke Skywalker. That correlation and that, yeah. and, and that Billy Burke was a very deadly Han Solo. Has, has any of that kind of been talked about or mentioned to you? Or have you thought about that? Yeah, you know what? When Eric uh, Kripke, who created the show, that's actually 
part of, that's kind of how he had it uh, in his mind as well. So yeah. Um, and that was like the whole point with the journey is that she starts at this place where she's like, I don't know what's happening. And then as we, we get to see her grow into becoming this warrior, which was really fun. Cause I feel like a lot of times we meet these really cool characters that are already you know the the badass and and we don't get to see them go through the all of the things and uh hey or Haley Charlie was a character that we got to see that with and and I thought it was uh, it was really cool it was a really fun show so yes good question <laughs> yeah hi. hi I know you mentioned that you do some of your own stunts um what has been your favorite stunt that you have done Ooh. um well, that's tough. There's so many fun ones. Um, I really loved the uh, the episode where Marina and I are uh, chained up in the basement. There's there's this stunt where I'm chained up and the uh, the guy comes to attack me, and I M Marina tackles him, and then I'm able to like grab him, and I kind of like wrap my legs around him and then I get the chain, which is very violent. I'm sorry that this is, um, but it, I think it was just like, it was just the physicality of it was just really kind of a lot more physical than I'm, I'm usually, we usually get. So I, I think that was really, um, that was fun. And everyone that was, you know, we were all playing, everyone was like good and had fun doing it. So um, that one was, sticks out, weirdly. I like how you clarify that like, I didn't I actually choke this guy. Yeah. <laughs> I know it's weird. I'll make believe. Uh, one last question. Hi. So right now, Haley is with Adam. I know a lot of people would really like to see her with Jay. Who would you rather see Haley with? <laughs> I can't answer that. Um, uh, well. <laughs> you have a pro cons list in your head. Um, yes, I've made a list. No, um, I don't know. I you know I think I think there's they're both so cool and the dynamics are both so interesting and so different, you know? Like I think uh, Haley with Adam, there's like, it's just kind of a little bit more of like a physical thing between the two of them. And they kind of, they, they care for each other, but it's a little bit different. Whereas with Jay, it's definitely deeper. There's like a way deeper connection. They aren't only partners, they, they confide in each other. They've become best friends. So there's like a lot, there's a lot deeper of a level with them um, that is interesting. Um, uh, but I also love that how surprised she's been, Haley has been in her interaction with Ruzik and like how she surprised herself that she's like now attached somehow. Um, so I don't really know how to pick because I, you know, I think they're both incredible characters and, and as people, I'm, I'm fans of both of them. So I don't, <laughs> I don't know how to pick, but I will say that they're both, you know, I'm, I'm interested to see what happens um, we do get to see a little bit more uh, in the before the season's up of uh, between uh, Ruzik and Haley that I will not tell you any more about, <laughs> but you, we do get to see a little bit more with them coming up. What team are you on? We're with Ruzik. Oh, you do? Oh, all right. It's interesting because people kind of go one way or the other with that situation. People have either been very not about it or uh, or all for it, which I totally understand. I think you know there's. Uh, the Burgess and Adam fans, and I totally get it. <laughs> People are like, get away from him. I was like, it's not me, I swear to God, I didn't write it. I'm not a whole banker. I didn't, um, but, uh, but you know, it kind of goes both, you know, people go on either side of it, which I totally get, so. Which is why it's fun. <laughs> and actually, when we have one more. Hi. Hi. So as you mentioned, you have learned a little bit about Haley's backstory this season. What's it like for you as an actor to learn more about your character? Um, it's, it, it helps a lot, actually, because then knowing where you're coming from, you can kind of figure out where you're going. You know, if I know that, you know, I had a, an interaction that's then going to, you know, paint where I'm going to go in that direction. Um, I think a thing that I've found, I, I really like going into detail for my backstory on my own, like for my own prep, I really like doing that. And whether I know what the answer is or not, I kind of make it up. And then a lot, I end up being wrong sometimes. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, okay. Um, but I do feel that I need to have a point of view going into it so that I know how to respond. So I think having a backstory and kind of understanding all of that, for me, I do find it very helpful. And if it's not provided that for me, then I just kind of make it up based on who the character is and what I, has been provided. And then I can kind of fill it in. And then uh, as I go, I see if I was right or wrong. More often wrong, <laughs> but yeah. 
But like we talked about, that's uh, something that at least as a viewer is fun to watch is like every week, every season, we get to know these characters a little more. Yeah. And Haley is one that it's been a joy to watch. And so thank you for playing thank her every you. week. And if you guys want to check out Chicago PD airs Wednesday at 10, 9 central on NBC. Give it up for Tracy Spiridoka. Thank you very much.